Dire Straits, one of the most successful rock groups in the world. For two members of the band, keyboards players Guy Fletcher and Alan Clark, when they're not in the recording studios, they're joined by their friend Martin Corkum and head off to the coast to check out the windsurfing. It's windy. It's a good direction though. Yeah, maybe, it? yeah. Yeah, it is actually. Let's do it, eh? Right, okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. They started windsurfing when recording in the Caribbean. Now, whenever on tour, they find time to get out on the water. We were making the Brothers in Arms album in Montserrat in the Caribbean, and there was nothing else to do there but winter. There was, literally, there was nothing else to do, so we just started windsurfing and suddenly realized how much fun it was, you know? We ended up sort of sailing, sailing to this island that was 18 miles away one day. That was after we'd been only sailing about eight weeks or so? Yeah, about, yeah. We'd grab as much time as we can, really. Usually go out with some, you know, locals. Just, just feel out the place, really. That's what, we, that's what we've tended to do in the parks. I think this time around I'm going to carry at least a board around with me, because I hate using other people's gear, you know? I mean, you know, when we, when we were learning, it was all right, because we didn't know what good gear was, you know? But now I think things have changed a bit. After the last Dire Straits World Tour, I, was, I spent about almost two years, about 18 months, doing nothing else but windsurfing, because that's all I wanted to do, you know? And I was getting a bit worried, thinking that I, that I wasn't particularly interested in music. I just had to get this wind, windsurfing thing out of my system. But now I've sort of moderated it a bit, so, you know, it's about 50-50 now. We have to take it easy on the hands a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you're a keyboards player, you know, it's not particularly good to be hanging under this thing all day and then have to go and play, so, playing like this. This thing arrived on the island of Montserrat shortly after we'd just been to this island called Redonda. And, um, and he was quite amazed that we'd sailed around it, so he, he went, ended up making his next record I can't remember which one it was now, on, in the same studio. And the very next time I saw Sting, which was in, in Japan, he said hello, and the, the, the first thing he said to me was, I sailed to Redonda and back. And I says, oh, great, that's really good. Did he use a harness? He says, yeah. I says, we didn't. <laughs> My main interest is waves, basically, just riding waves. That's where it, that's the bug for me, you know? Sort of, not particularly jumping, although I do jump, but um, just actually riding them in is, is the big thrill for me. I love blasting, but I don't mind anything, really. But blasting, I do like. It's nice to get away from music. And, well, it's nice to get away from everything and just be out in the water. I think everybody who surfs knows that and has experienced that. It's one of the nicest things about it mm. to just get away from it all. Mm. 